Hey guys, hope you all are having a great Sunday and staying indoors, taking good care of yourself, take, enjoying your time with your family and uh, take this as an opportunity to go inwards, learn something new, perhaps learn cooking, look, cook something for yourself, cook something for your family, read something nice, watch something nice. It's very, very, very essential to keep your mind positive keep everybody around you positive because positivity is the need of the time that's what the world needs right now from me from you from everybody else this is not the time to gossip this is not the time to blame this is not the time to judge this is not, not the time to watch the news too much gossip about celebrities gossip about the leaders gossip about your neighbors gossip about relatives gossip about your exes no 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 this is the time to strictly stay positive this is the time to have a strict mental diet and take this as an opportunity of great learning and great discovery because great changes are going to happen it's going to happen in everybody's life because of this time that we are in it's going to happen in it happened in my life it's happening in your life it's happening in the world it's happening in every country in every city things are changing things are changing we are not stuck we are never stuck it looks like we are all stuck today it looks like the world is stuck today but we cannot get stuck because we are energy and energy is always moving it is always flowing so if we are not stuck we are just changing the world is changing the world is not stuck because that cannot be that defies the laws of the universe the energy is always in motion so there's a law of motion that means we are always moving forward always moving forward don't rely on your five senses right now it is time to open your spiritual senses to tune into your spirit to tune into your inner guidance system to tune in to your inner power see things differently when you change the way you look at things the things you look at changes right so when you change the way you look at yourself you change yourself and more than changing, it is about accepting. It is the world needs acceptance. We need acceptance right now. It is time to accept ourselves. It is time to ask ourselves, how am I not accepting myself? What about me am I not accepting? How am I trying to change myself all the time? We are constantly conditioned to work on ourselves, change ourselves, change our lifestyle, change something about ourselves. And it's all in good intention. But through law of attraction, we are always changing ourselves. We are never happy with ourselves. We are always wanting more, always achieving more, always pursuing more, always chasing more. Because that's how law of attraction works. If we are not accepting ourselves as we are right now, we will never be able to accept ourselves as we are right now, as we will ever be. No amount of money will satisfy us. No relationship will satisfy us. No amount of uh, credentials or achievements will satisfy us. Nobody can satisfy us because we are not satisfied with ourselves. So it is time. So we are not satisfied with the outside world. We are not satisfied with the government. We are not satisfied with the world leaders. We are not satisfied with anything. It is time to completely accept ourselves. I accept myself just the way I am. I accept myself just the way I am. I accept myself just the way I am. Say it out loud to yourself, I accept the way I am right now. Full acceptance. I had to learn it the hard way because I was always working on myself, always trying to change, always trying to learn, which is a good thing. But at the same time, I have to accept myself as I am right now. Acceptance doesn't mean nothing is going to change, but the change is going to be effortless. It's going to happen very swiftly. It is not that when you accept your current situation, if you accept yourself the way you are, if you accept other people just the way they are, they're never going to change. But you are not focusing on the flaws. You're focusing on the strengths, accepting the beauty. So we have to accept the beauty of the world right now. We have to accept our own beauty. We have to accept the beauty in other people. But we can only do that when we think that way, when we are that way, when we easily accept ourselves. It's easy for us to accept other people and it is easy for us to accept outside circumstances because we are in acceptance. So say this out loud. I am in acceptance. I accept myself. I accept myself. I accept myself completely and see how it feels. Feel how you feel and you feel the shift. Maybe after a really, really, really long time you have felt this way where you're completely in acceptance of yourself. Now, the universe, your spirit will guide you towards the next step. And that will not be a, an effort. That will happen effortlessly. Act
actions will be effortless. If you are trying to lose weight and you're constantly judging yourself, constantly focusing on how much weight you have to lose, you're not accepting yourself just the way you are. Accept yourself just the way you are. If you want to change your profession, your career, and you're constantly looking around where to apply, what to do, you're not accepting yourself just the way you are. So accept yourself just the way you are. I am where I am, and I'm very happy where I am. And that does not mean that the universe is not going to bring changes in your life. It will bring changes in your life. But you have been blocking the gifts of, uni of the universe, the gifts of your life by constantly judging yourself, by constantly not accepting yourself just the way you are. Miracles are natural. Miracles are natural. That is written in a book, in the book, the metaphysical book that I practice and study, A Course in Miracles. It is written, miracles are natural. When they're not happening, something has gone wrong. We block miracles uh, from our life we block the miracles from coming to our life by judging ourselves not accepting ourselves seeing the bad in every situation seeing the bad in us seeing the bad in others and we block ourselves so this is time to release all blocks see the beauty in your situation right now see the beauty in yourself right now see the beauty in the current situation right now see the beauty in the world right now and your mind will start working it is training your mind because everything is within you all the knowledge and wisdom is within you you're not learning anything new you're not telling yourself something that you from inside you don't know you're feeling a discomfort within you because your higher self, your spirit is telling you that all is well, but we are not accepting it. We are constantly trying to change ourselves, achieve something, be somewhere else, do something, have something that we don't have and completely denying the beauty of the present moment. We're constantly trying to change the country, change the government, change the world and not accepting the beauty of our country, not accepting the beauty of our world. So it is time for complete acceptance. I love this exercise. Today, take this moment, why, as I said, why only today? Do this all throughout your life. Today, write 10 things that you love about yourself. One by one, write it, speak it out loud and own it. This is not the time to dig, uh, dig your flaws, what you are doing wrong, what you don't have. It's great, okay? Then write 10 things that you love about your family. If you have problems with your family, or with your parents, write 10 things that you love about them, about your sis siblings, about your sister, about your brother, about your partner, about your lover, about your boss, about the country, about the city, about the world. Write 10 things about good, about 10 positive things about everything and everybody. You're training your mind to look at the positive in every situation because where focus goes, energy flows and you are removing the negativity from your body you are releasing all blocks the miracles that life has in store for you there is great abundance for you there's great miracles for you and you are not allowing it to come to you and by all this judgment all this negativity that is within our body in our consciousness in our mind and this is a great time to do these exercises and don't take these exercises lightly don't take it like a motivational mumbo jumbo because this is not this is life this is very important many people take these things very lightly but this is life. This is how it works. This is how life works. I have enough knowledge and I have enough of experiments and experiences to tell you that this is the truth. Focus only on what is working right now in you, outside you, around you, in the world. Because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at changes. When you change the way you look at the world, the world you look at will change. What kind of world are you looking at? Are you looking at a world that is crashing and burning and there is a lot of evil and, you know, lots of uh, riots and hatred? Or you're looking at a world where people are becoming more and more aware and loving and understanding and there's a lot of freedom, there's a lot of uh, cooperation, there's, lot, there's less judgment, there's a lot of acceptance, there's a lot of... Uh, creativity there's a lot of you know uh, space we are living in a magical time we are living in such a magical time this phone right now this where you're watching me right now this instrument this medium is magic in itself this was not possible 30 years ago we are living right now in magic we are in magical time and it is so hard for us to believe in magic
people used to believe in magic when there was not some so much of magic they used to fantasize about it imagine about the time that we are living right now and we are living in so much magic and we com we don't believe in magic anymore we have so much we have a hard time believing in magic but we are heading towards an even more magical time that is destiny it is written and in order to be a match to that we have to be magical and you are magical nature is magical and you are part of nature so you are magical so look at yourself like a magical being and never ever think that you are not important you can't do anything in this world or sitting at home what can you do sitting at home you can do a lot a lot you can do so much sitting at home through your thoughts through your vibrations through the way you feel because it is going to create a butterfly effect a placebo effect it is going to create a ripple effect when you change when you're working on your thoughts when you are creating good vibrations in you people around you will pick it up and then they will also change and then people around them will pick it up so one person at a time few people at a time this world is going to change and we just need a few handful people who are completely aligned completely in, uh, in alignment with love to make huge changes in the world to make huge changes in the world and that's how the world functions anyway it's always a few strong willed people who create changes in the world so do you want to be that person do you want to create massive changes in your life and in this world you can do it i know you want to because you're watching this video you wouldn't be watching this video all throughout till this point if you don't have this desire within you to do something great to do something beautiful for this world to do something beautiful and amazing for yourself this is the time this is the time this is the time to dig deeper to own yourself to accept your powers to accept your beauty look at yourself in a different way look at your, the world in a different way radiate send good vibrations to the world, send nice energy, send love to everybody, whoever is coming to your mind, whoever is popping in your mind, just send them love and blessings and think about the good qualities in them. Accept them as the way they are and see only the good in them. See the good only in yourself. And if you find yourself judging other people, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and accept yourself that it's okay. It's okay. It comes. It's an old habit of thought and I will get rid of it. And it will dissolve. It will dissolve. I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to fight anything. I'm not going to fight with myself. I'm going to accept myself. Because we are human beings. We have so much of old conditioning. So it is not a quick fix. We are not going to get there. It will take some time and practice. But it's about your willingness. It is about the intention that matters. If you have the intention and the willingness to work on yourself, to to love yourself, it is not about working yourself, it is about loving yourself, tuning into the vibration of love, tuning into the frequency of love, and just being love, conditioning yourself for, for love, then it will become very natural for you. Such thoughts will not come to your mind anymore, okay? Because we judge other people so much because you're constantly judging ourselves. It is the way we function. When we're constantly judging ourselves, we are constantly judging other people or other things. So forgive yourself immediately whenever you find yourself judging and then release, release yourself, release yourself. When you do that, when you accept yourself, when you love yourself, when you focus on what is working in your life, what do you have, what do you love in yourself, when you accept that in other people, what is working in them, what do you love about them, when you accept that about the world, about the country, what is working and what do you love about the country, what do you love about the world, then you release so much of resistance from your being, you release so much of resistance from your body, it is so much powerful than any kind of exercise or any kind of distraction or any kind of external bliss. When you work with your mind, when you clean your vibration, you become a magnet to miracles and be prepared for the universe to knock you with so much of blessings and so many miracles and magic and you will be stunned oh my god it was always there and i was blocking it this happened to me so many times and the universe has just you know surprised me because i practice them as much as i can sometimes i go off but then then i come back because i believe in the power of love i believe in the power of thinking only positive seeing things differently and it is a daily practice it is a daily practice and day by day i'm tuning in more practicing more because this is my life. This is who I am. This is how I want to be. I don't want to see how things are shown to me if I don't like them. 
I will reject it. I will only see things as I want them to be. Only how my spirit is telling me. If, my, if I am not at peace with a situation, that means I don't have to accept it as it is. I have to see things differently. And that has been my mantra. I don't see it to believe it. I believe it to see it. I believe first and then I see what I want. I believe first and then I see what I want. I believe it first and then I get what I want. And take this as a mantra. When I believe, I see. So whatever you believe, you see. Nobody can contract your belief system. Life will always prove you correct. Whatever you believe, life will mirror you back. So you're always proving yourself right. So how do you want to prove yourself? Do you want to keep repeating the negative stories all the time, all the time, or you are going to become conscious. You are going to become a deliberate creator of your own life and change your thinking and don't see things as they are if you don't like them. Don't see a person as they are if you don't like them. See them differently in your mind and then you will see results. All right, I said what I had to say in this video. I hope this works, this helps and you find them useful. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for your likes and comments and sending you so much of love and blessings. I love you all. See you in the next video.